Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Monday, October 14th, 2013. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, I've got Twerktober on sale. If you want to check out your whole entire month and put it all together, all the charts are in there. Everything's there going deep into what happened here in the last couple weeks and what's coming here in the next two weeks of October. Now, we have a lot going on. There's so much to say. I hope I can put it all in today's horoscope because this is leading us into a powerful week of Mercury getting ready to go through a retrograde. This is the last week of Mercury going direct before it goes retrograde. It's also trining Jupiter. So we're going to talk about this today, but we also have Mars, which is on its last day of Leo, which is going to step into Virgo tomorrow, while the Moon and Neptune oppose all this energy. So what does this all mean? Well, I could sit here and talk about Saturn as well on, at 11 degrees and how it's connected to February of 2013 and how we're all stepping into these deeper, deeper waters emotionally, subconsciously, karmically. Uh, I want to start with karma. You know, I believe that emotions are what store the karma in our life. Our mind tends to remember the color of the shirt, exactly what you said, but it is the feeling inside that stores and goes through multiple lives goes through multiple ages, goes through all of these feelings that are hidden in many ways. This is the roots of our life as Jupiter is expanding and growing in Cancer, expanding our emotional zones, our past. And how interesting that the Sun squared Jupiter this weekend and we faced you know, energies and getting over parts of our past, stepping into these new expanded feelings. You know, in many ways we're taking feelings of the past and now applying them to new feelings and where we could take that same feeling and broadcast it more into our passions now, broadcast and, and grow our feelings into, you know what, more secure places for ourselves to feel better in our lives and get over these old feelings, this old past that in many ways could sometimes come back and haunt us or, you know, kind of dictate how our life turns. And that's how karma works. It's because those past feelings come up, bubble into your reality, and manifest themselves. But we're manifesting past emotions and stepping into, you know, clearing the past in many ways and stepping into bringing those emotions to a new karmic zone, which is wherever we write that karma, I believe. But it is so weird that we have Mercury, which is in Scorpio, digging up this truth, digging up um, these deep emotional desired feelings. All this is about feeling. And it's connected now to Jupiter. As Mercury starts its trying to Jupiter and will do a long one. This is going to be a long trying to Jupiter as it does a stationary retrograde position, which clearly is starting to show me that we are stepping into finally understanding the feelings that we have been going through. In many ways, as we expand and we grow our feelings, we're going through our life, we're changing things, we're doing things, right? Especially with this Mars and Leo energy we're completing here today. We are going for our hearts. We are learning to blaze a trail in our life. We are learning to, to really take action in ways that makes us feel better about ourselves, that makes us shine bright. And sometimes, you know, as we're growing, it's this deepness of the growing that we are learning to understand and maybe this deepness that we're learning to overcome in our past. This is very powerful times and very sensitive times as the moon comes into Pisces today, conjuncts Neptune, all while we're going to start to see all of this water energy come together. And this is a, a very deep emotional time of inside yourself. And as Mars is ready to blaze into to Virgo, it opposes Neptune as we must really start to pay attention to how we feel about what the signs are in our life, what we are connecting to in our souls, and make sure that we take action in a way that listens to spirit, that we take action in a way that pays attention to the signs, that no longer, if we're going to blaze from our heart, you know, we have to make sure we're blazing from a heart that's also embedded in spirit, that's based off understanding our feelings of the past, based off understanding how we feel about our truth, about our passions, about what we want in our lives, that no longer can we just aimlessly direct our lives into what we feel is our heart, but really isn't. Maybe because we're not checking in with the signs. Maybe because we're not checking in with spirit. Maybe because we're confused. Maybe because we're not actually following our passions. And maybe because we don't even understand truly how we feel. 
Because life it takes us in all these weird directions and it pulls us in this and you know, we get a feeling and we set, tend to rub it out. We tend to have a drink or some people to drugs or some people in their brains shut off their emotions. No longer can we escape the karma that we have written for ourselves and the feelings we have felt as a child, as a teenager, as that person who got broken up on, as that person that had that amazing moment where you won the game, of when you lost the game, of when you challenged yourself to grow and when you didn't challenge yourself. These embed emotions into our lives. And in many ways, it isn't going to be until these next couple weeks that these big understandings start to reveal themselves. As the universe is ready to grow us and expand us, as Venus and Sagittarius starts its powerful trying to Uranus this week, there's an electricity in the air of we could go here, we could open these doors, we could manifest this, we could connect with these people, we could open up these doors of our feelings into great adventures and great journeys. But it will take this redefinition of yourself based off starting to understand the truth of how you really feel. Uh, the truth of understanding why you feel this way because this is how you felt back then. That in many ways our past is coming to in, the, in a very crazy and, and I don't know how better else way to describe this, pulls us into the future by us understanding and remembering our past and remembering our core of who we are and where we're rooted to allow us to grow more as Pluto and Capricorn wants us to grow. It wants us to dedicate our lives and to commit to a growth, to commit to challenging ourselves, to commit to achieving something in this life. But it takes this crazy understanding of your past, this crazy understanding of what you've embedded in your karma in order to make sure we take the right directions in our life. And it's highlighted, especially with Mars here in Leo, as Mars is coming to conjunct Regulus and that's a star which has moved into zero degree Virgo and in many ways this is a service to ourselves that we must pay attention to spirit, a service to the world that needs to pay attention to spirit, an understanding of our past in order for us to leap correctly into the future so you understand and know where to expand from and that you're not doing it blindly because there are powerful intentions behind where we grow in our lives. The intention to achieve something great, the intention to rewire and recreate a new self based off what your truest passion is, based off the opening of new relationships that take you more into the direction of how you really feel because you understand and know taking you having to have what you manifest in your life going to work out more correctly because you understand how you really feel about this and that and that and you did when you were five years old. A good example for me is, believe it or not, I have crazy anxieties and some of them are very weird and they went away for a long time and then they've come back. Once I had it as a child. Believe it or not, there was that one time in my life that I was afraid of fireworks when I was a kid. At five years old, I was terrified of fireworks. Now, we could look at that in a couple different ways, but the main thing was it was the feeling of fear. It was the feeling of insecurity in not being able to feel secure around the fireworks. I would have to run, and, and I was a spoiled Leo kid. I had grandparents who had a beach house on the beach. I literally used to go to the beach house and watch the fireworks for years. And uh, I would run to the back room and hide under the covers. And in many ways, now there's events that happen that bring back that same feeling. Even this July 4th, it brought back those feelings for me of fear and so forth. So the universe is bringing us back to our feelings, to ones that bring us back into crazy energy. Now, I would say it's very intense, especially for Leos. But on a side note, looking on the overall, this is our karma. So it goes much deeper than that, but it does go into your past, it does go into your feeling, it does go into opening up to find where we can grow from this, where we can expand. And it is Mercury and Scorpio which wants to get to the bottom, it wants to detect, it wants to figure out 
what these deep feelings are. Not only because it's connected to Jupiter, but because it's in Scorpio and it's about to do a retrograde. And it's come over Saturn in the last week. It's come over the North Node in the last week, which is this direction that the universe is pointing is to rebuild our lives and to structure our lives and to figure out what is it we want? What is it at the bottom of our souls that we must connect to? And the moon that humps over Neptune today offers this great radar that I feel like today is an amazing day for you to start figuring out the pieces to your own weird spiritual karmic puzzle and for you to go with the flow and to surrender, but to make sure that you don't make aggressive moves in the wrong directions. Not ones built off service for your, yourself and ones that are not based off what you really love in your heart because you're not paying attention to your feelings and you're not paying attention to what spirit really says inside. So there's a lot to, to ponder today. We'll go deeper in tomorrow as we're going to see a huge shift in this week as we start to see Venus and Uranus come closer. So very unpredictable things, some crazy amazing partnerships this week, some crazy great manifestations, some great expansion, some great growth. The Sun and Libra transit on its final couple week here and it's not going to be hitting any bad planets. This is a very powerful and wonderful time. And today it is about the inner work. It is about understanding what's inside so you make your outside that much better. So check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions, I am not booking any more readings for this week. I'm sorry, I am completely booked. I will be taking readings though for when I come back here for the first week of November. So if you wanna book now, check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. Thank you for all your support and I will see you tomorrow.